my explorer okay run everything again and now it should work so um the idea is when you're when you're creating a rdd and or when you i'm always confusing rdd and data frame so when you create a data frame a data phrase frame is more like or is like a table and so when you look at it let me just scroll down what we have created now so it's basically in a table view you have a like a column header a column name and then these are defined previously or when you create the data frame and then you have the columns in this thing and this makes it possible to access it in a sql manner because basically if if you if you think about sql what are you doing you selecting and and doing stuff with tables it basically um yeah that's basically what you're what you're doing all the time of course you're doing some joins and so on you can also do this here but this is basically the the cool thing and the easy thing and this is also something people ask me what are what should we do um in the beginning what should we learn uh to get into spark and so on and i think this is the answer here if you want to go in at spark and nowadays you are working with data frames um you're going to need sql statements because you are going to um interact with uh data frames through sql queries so it's it's a good it's a good idea to learn sql um and learn how to work with sql so this is this is one thing to keep in mind so um, um yeah for instance we read a parquet file directly into a data frame this basically works good we also um this was this was a way to uh, get csv files and they are ending up directly into data frames so basically the data frame integration is already very good the, it it makes a lot of sense and i like it so i don't know if you guys have already worked a lot with data frames what i'm what i'm curious about is the modification of data frames so with with rdds you have the whole you're doing loops and or and part, you're working with partitions and here as i see it um mostly or you can do a lot of stuff just with sql and how does that exactly work and how does that work with kafka um, with message queues so this would be would be two things to find out is um one thing i already had prepared i think where was that um um here we the, in this example you created a data set no create data set create data frame yeah so so basically what you can do is you can make spark.sql so, so you can make sql queries on top of a data frame and then yeah um I, what i can see is what we can do or we can try here is we have read this um what was this input as data frame what did that look how did that look um what was in there didn't i didn't i guess i didn't real input df i did d d d input df okay this was everything here so my guess is that um 
what we could do is we can make a new select so we could well, the one thing I don't really like here is you, you don't have um, well um, select selected calls um, df equals input sdf dot I don't I, I don't know if there is a ah okay um no there were do I use SQL here already or do I use spark dot hmm Mm. spark.sql select how was that? let me just quickly check okay I need select um, what do we want to select? we want to select year year and title select year title do I need to add a comma oh man from input df Okay, okay. Let's just register um, selected calls. Let's see if this works. it looks good and then let's just go down here and s and make a new line sql uh select that calls basically everything you can do with with sql you can very easy go here and say select year title from input. Can you, I think you can, but how can you uh, only take few numbers from one column? Select substring, select substring, year, two, two, I'm guessing. The star is going to go away. Yeah, so that's easy. And and here is the cool thing that this is what I like here with Zeppelin and so on. Now I, I just I just tried it here. That now I'm going to leave this out again. I'm going to do this. And now I'm taking this and I'm copying it. Um, here. Boop. Did. It, and I'm going to take um, title again. Boom, boom. Execute it. I'm sure I have an error in it. Or not. Awesome. Then I'm going to go down and just execute this again and boom that's it okay so it's basically modification of this stuff is super simple and yeah that's it